Pada MJ Matthew, congratulations as you are celebrating 60 years as a Salesian priest. I am uh, so happy. That, uh, yes. I see you as a very happy uh -huh. and contented Salesian priest. Yeah. Now, when you uh, look back at these 60 years of life mm. and ex experiencing the joy that is always waiting yes. on your face, uh -huh. can you tell us what is the secret of this joy? Yes. Now, when you ask that, it is a de very delicate question. What is the secret of it? Because we have to come in concrete, the real secret, the real thing. An earnest effort to have a good conscience. And earnest effort, genuine effort, to have, to possess, to live a good conscience. Right is right, wrong is wrong, and I earnestly strive to follow the right, follow the, what the Lord wants from me. This I have striven, and I will continue to do that, and this determination and this uh, genuineness of life is that what gives me meaning in life. Okay, thank you Father MJ Matthew for yes. sharing with us that this happiness comes uh, mm. from a really genuine life. Yes. And now you have a man of, you are a man of vast experience 60 mm. years of priesthood and yes. uh, all on, uh, uh, during these years you have served in various capacities mm -hmm. in the yeah. uh, province and in the congregation. congregation you know, what would you suggest to the young people today yes. as to how they should form themselves in uh, mm. to be mm. good priests good for the priest, 21st century? Yes. Uh, the words that came to my mind now was nere wa nere po. To be a good priest, to be a good religious, to be a good human being, the essential thing is earnest effort or striving to live a good conscience. Okay, thank you, Father yes. MJ Matthew, for being a very good priest, a genuine human being, a very good human being, mm -hmm. and being a witness to that to all of us. Yeah. Thank you very much and all the best. Thank you very much. So congratulations for the Thank you. Uh, for Bo Katie Joseph as you celebrate the Diamond Jubilee of your ordination to priesthood. Thank you, Benichan. Yeah. You know, I was with you at uh, one of the room. Yes. I always are. call you Benichan. I don't know if they ever call you Benichan now. I think you are the one of the uh, few who still call me as Benichan and I really love to hear that because you have played a really wonderful role in my formation to right. Salesian priestly life. And now, Father, as you celebrate this 60 years as a priest, and as you, uh, you are uh, the second senior most Salesian in the province of Bangalore, how do you look at the Salesian life in the province today? Well, oh, that's a very <laughs> big question at this moment, I thought. To say about priesthood, I was here 60 years a priest, priest. That makes me really very grateful to God. At the same time, very humble before God. Now, 70 years of solution, which tells me the how the province has progressed from being a very small group of solutions to a vast, vast majority of solutions in uh, India consists more than 10 provinces and, uh, uh, and uh, this uh, 
in the sub provinces. I see the wonderful growth at the same time the wonderful enthusiasm that the solutions evince. And I think that's based on the scientific of the people who went ahead, I suppose. I think the first missionaries brought great love for Don Bosco, for Our Lady, and the other solutions took it up and they are going on with that wonderful spirit. So there are tensions, there are moments of hesitations. We wonder where we are going. But I firmly believe the thing will go on well. Because reading the history of Father TJ, I come to realize there has been a lot of tension right from the beginning. And those tensions continue. But I think there are tensions for growth. And I'm sure the Salvation Congregation will go on and will develop and will play the role that God wants it to, wants it uh, to play in the history of the Christianity here in India, I thought, and so the apostolate for the youth. And hence, I think I have got every optimism looking at the way it develops. So thank you, Father for Katie, for this frank sharing. And now you have been an educator, you have been a formator for many, uh, most of these years as a Salesian priest. Now, when you look at your priestly ministry as such, what do you, what is it that gave you most happiness in your life as a priest? Well, thinking of the priesthood, I the very fact that I'm a priest makes me happy. Because, you know, there is that uh, old saying, Ajare Sekutur Esse, isn't it? Being comes before doing. Yeah. And therefore, if I've done anything, it's because I'm a priest. And that is the source of my happiness. That Christ called me one day, he looked at me, he loved me, and he said, come, follow me. And I have followed him, and I still find that happiness in that uh, uh, vocation that God called me. And I'm very, very grateful, and I've not been sad because I'm a priest. You know, I should have been dead by this time, you know. Uh, so a, few years, a few years back, I had a very serious accident and uh, I should have been dead but I never realized the seriousness of it till I went to Atta Party. At Atta Party, one sister looked at me and said, uh, she was the co counseling me and she said, Father, you should have been dead long ago. I said, I should have been dead. But then he said, you are alive because of the, your devotion to St. Joseph. I see St. Joseph holding on to you. I said, I met with an accident, I should have been dead. But I do not know where St. Joseph comes in, I told her. Then she said, if she could, if I could tell her the, the accident I had, she would tell me where the play road by, played by St. Joseph. And in that accident, once one man comes all on a sudden onto the stage, and he tells me, you are a solution, aren't you, he asked me. I was surprised at, uh, Low, at a lonely place away from uh, Kottiyam, somebody comes and asks me whether I'm a solution or not. He said he knows solutions, he knew solutions very well in Tamil Nadu. But I could not make what he was saying. But finally he said if I would trust him, he would settle all these things about accident and uh, would help me to come out of it. In fact, he did that. The police came, he said that he would bring us to the police station and uh, he said to the whole thing and when the last signatures were put, he just disappeared. That sister told me, that was St. Joseph, he said. And then he said, this life has been given to you as an extra thing in order that you might continue to do more good to others. And she said, Father, continue to do as much good as possible. From that day onwards, to be very honest, I was getting such a lot of chance for pastoral work. And today, uh, Benijan, uh, I know that I'm boasting, but uh, in this COVID time, you do not know the number of priests and religious who come to Manuti for confession. And they call me far and near for confession. And uh, there are priests, even a bishop also comes there. And uh, the major seminary, they call me. And uh, there are the religious with their aspirant dates and so on. They call me for confession. 
And the apostolate I exercise in this sacrament is something wonderful. Especially at this COVID time, when there is very little chance for confession. And then another thing is that uh, whatever they ask, try to do it. And thus give satisfaction to others. So at the end, I must say it is a very marvelous time, wonderful time. And uh, God has been very, very kind to me. When my own confidence are, are unable to even to move, able to stand up, I'm able to run up a staircase even now. I'm able to give a talk, not with the old vigor probably, but you know, with the more conviction than before. And I enjoy every day to say my Mass, to share the Word of God with the aspirants that are there. Like teach them also a little bit of grammar. I love you, love, he loves, and putting that accent on that love, uh, on that loves, okay. which is very often forgotten by people. And uh, in fact, I enjoy every minute of my life. Okay, thank you, Father Kedi, for this wonderful sharing. And uh, you have been a big inspiration in my Salesian life. And we wish you all the best as you move on from these 60 years of priesthood to further avenues. Thank you, Father. Dear Father Francis John, I'm happy to congratulate you on the occasion of your uh, the golden jubilee of your profession. I'm happy that you are one of my first assistants when I was in the, in Manuti, when I came as an aspirant. And uh, looking at your life, you know that you have been involved in various types of activities during your pre, uh, Salesian life as well as priestly ministry. No. Uh, now looking back at all these different ministries that you have done, what would you consider as probably the most relevant intervention for our times? Yeah. Uh, thank you for this question. I worked in uh, different settings, as you said, among fishermen, then among street children, children of drug users, and uh, those who are in, in prisons, then school dropouts, and all that. What I realized that today's older world, children and young people need more accompaniment. Why? Because all are busy, the parents, uh, teachers are busy, so they need someone to teach some life skills. Life skills have become very, very important in today's world. So, I would say we as a solution should promote life skills and accompany our children and youth, especially the poor and marginalized. Okay, Pastor, there's one more question. Now, yeah. When you look back at the 50 years that you have lived as a Salesian, yeah. okay, uh, what do you think as maybe one of the most satisfying or most happy moments in your life, in your Salesian ministry? What I believe is that I've always uh, thought of something new to cre be more creative. The same mission but to be more creative and develop new approaches in a professional way. So that helped me to move into new areas and I myself learned a lot of things, the different settings. But the mission is important, mission is same, but the approach can be different and we make it make, make more and more relevant. So thank you Father John Francis for this um, um, observations that you have made and wish you all the best as you carry on with your ministry. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations as you celebrate the Silver Jubilee of your ordination. Thank you, thank you. Alex. Yeah, we have known each other for quite some time. And as you celebrate your Jubilee this year, I may ask you, what uh, is it that gives you 
satisfaction in your life as a solution. Okay, Alexander, thank you. Thank you for the uh, congratulations and good question. I have been always with academics, teaching in various institutions, in ITIs and later in college, always dealing with young people, taking them, making them grow up and uh, make their life better. It had been quite successful and that is what gives me most happiness and satisfaction in my life as a solution. Thank you. So George, I'm, uh, we have had a lot of happy memories here at Christiodi College as well as at other moments when I was, for instance, rector in Alua, you were the economer. A lot of happy sharing and uh, wonderful time working together. Now, I'm happy that you are celebrating the jubilee of your priestly ordination. And at this moment, may I ask you, what gives you satisfaction in your life as a Salesian priest? Yeah, surely it's a moment of uh, joy and uh, gratitude as we are in the 25th year of uh, priestly ordination. And uh, looking back, time has gone quite fast. Uh, it's already 25 years within no time. For me, it has been a um, lot of learning uh, and a lot of doing. In as much as uh, I was asked to take up responsibilities or take up ministries and missions for which you are not necessarily adequately prepared, but plunge into it and learn through it. And in, uh, I was lucky to have had interaction with all the conferences, all the communities. And that experience has been very enriching. And I believe that is what is holding me uh, today. And um, I can say without uh, any doubt that I'm only grateful for whatever has been uh, happened through my life, to my life and maybe through my life. And I hope that I'll continue to be able to be faithful and be able to uh, do my responsibilities entrusted to me to the best possible way that is uh, humanly possible. Yeah, I see that uh, from the way you have lived your life and from what you have shared now, you have been really happy as a Salesian priest. Now, what would you propose to the younger generation as to how they should look at the life ahead? I think the context of the world, the context of the young people, and the way in which the ministry needs to be uh, expressed today surely has changed. And I don't think there is uh, any way that any formation can adequately prepare one completely for it. What is important is that we keep learning, uh, we keep understanding the context, and there's always a lot more that is happening out there. Uh, if you can call it, be more professional in the exercise of our ministry. And uh, that will make us closer to young people and make our interventions more relevant and meaningful. And uh, I think while we try to make interventions or uh, uh, activities for young people, uh, it should equally help us to grow as human beings, as persons, in our knowledge and in our experience. And I think that's one message I would like to leave for the younger generation, that keep learning and looking at how most relevant you can be in your context. Uh, I think that's the best we can do. So, thank you, George, for being professional in your life as a religious, as well as in all the work that you have done. And uh, we wish you all the best as you thank you. on. So we are very happy that you are celebrating the Silver Jubilee of your ordination and uh, we have been associated quite a bit in different uh, places. We have spent time together in Manuti, we have spent time here at Kristi Yodhi and I have always seen you as a very committed 
solution. Now, as you celebrate your Silver Jubilee, what do you think is that makes your solution Christian life really happy? Yes, uh, 25 years have been a very joyful uh, time for me and I enjoyed being a solution and more than that I feel happy that I became a solution uh, because uh, as, I, as we go around and we see different religious and different uh, congregations etc uh, we feel how precious is the vocation that we have received and uh, I really enjoy being a solution and I'm happy that I became a solution. Yeah, now that you say that you have really enjoyed being a solution and, uh, and uh, is happy that you are a solution, what do, you, what do you want to tell the next generation that how can they find happiness in their life? Uh, one thing is that we first of all need to appreciate our call to be a solution and secondly we need to learn more about Don Bosco, his charism, the manner in which the, our senior solutions have passed on this charism to us, how, uh, how much they loved Don Bosco and they, how they continue to uh, insist with us all that Don Bosco did for the poor youth of Turing. So congratulations, CV, as you celebrate your jubilee and wish you many, many more years of life, wonderful life as a solution priest. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. So Brother Shaji and uh, Brother Paul, we are happy that you are celebrating Silver Jubilee of the final profession and Paul, the Silver Jubilee of his first profession. And uh, we are we are very few Salesian brothers in this province. And now as you celebrate this jubilee, what would be your message to the Salesians in the province? Anyway, first of all, uh, though we are very few in number, we are really happy in the province. Uh, we always try to uh, encourage others to join us. But it's a situation of the province, we know it is not easy. So, but we are happy. We are happy to be Salishan Brothers. It's already my perpetual portion. So I'm really happy. And Brother Paul, what do you say? First of all, I would like to thank God for this last 25 years of a years as a Salishan Brother in the Salishan congregation. So far I was really happy with my occasion. I never hesitated or I never thought back. Now I feel I am really happy to, to be with the solutions in the different centers, the different communities. I feel so attached, so close. Even there is no separation between the brothers and the fathers. We are together working for us. Same mission, same goal. Now both of you have been working in different settings all over these years. Uh, and what would you consider as the, that mission that gave you most satisfaction in your life as a Salishan brother? The setting See, uh, where you felt uh, uh, most happy. I have been working in different settings, but uh, all the settings, uh, I never felt any difference. I never regret of any settings. I was happy uh, in all the settings and I could do what I, am, I was able to do in most of the places. For me, I was working for the poor last 25 years. This last two years only I was in the formation house. But the last 25 years, I feel so happy to work with the poor because the Don Bosco's mission is to the poor. So, and also so a lot of satisfaction, a lot of outcome from the uh, work which we do and a lot of attachment towards the young people. So that makes me more happy. So congratulations Shaji and congratulations Paul and uh, wish you all the best as you move on. And thank you. Thank you for being wonderful examples of Salesian brothers. Thank you. Thank you.